Okay, so this is a one-bit memory circuit. Um, this is a 555 timer. I'm using 555 timers as flip-flops um, to store data, and um, they're set into bi-stable mode because um, I don't have any chips. Um, so here's the data bus down here. We can put a 1 or a 0 on as we desire. Um, 1, 0. Um, this is the read-in line up here, the control line, to read your input into your memory, which is, uh, this is our one bit of memory right here, um, this 555 timer. Um, so, for example, right now there's a zero on the data bus, and if we want to read in a zero to the memory, we simply uh, disconnect our control line from the negative. Um, if our control line is negative, uh, it basically ignores the input and retains, or ignores the data bus and retains its in, um, current state. Um, so if we put a 1 on the data bus and then disconnect that, we get a 1, and then it ignores my input. Uh, so now we put a 0, and read that in and then we can ignore the data bus. So we can effectively control. Um, this is a, uh, this is my, and, this is an AND gate, this is a quad AND, and gate, and this is a um, inverter chip right here. So there you have it, one bit memory using 555s as flip-flops, and probably way more complicated than it needs to be.